Hi guys, this is Amy Lee 33 and welcome back to another episode inside of Amy Lee's Land of Love and I hope you guys are having a lovely weekend. My weekend is a lot better than the last one. That was a really scary weekend, guys. Did you see the last episode of Amy Lee's Land of Love? The witch came back, guys. She came back. It was so terrifying. It was nearly the end of Amy Lee. I thought I was going to perish. It was so scary. If you guys didn't see it, I'm going to leave a link in description. And if you're on the PC, check the bubble above my head now and I'll take you straight to that video it was really frightening guys I'm still having the nightmares I cannot quite even so today um I need to be like aware and like just be careful just in case she comes back um I'm really nervous that you know she she just disappeared and I I, I, I don't even want to think about it so I just need to be really careful and I need to keep checking behind me and making sure she doesn't just appear and stuff she isn't on the roof is she do you remember that time she was on the roof it was so scary but anyway um so um, I'm going to build a new building today. Um, hopefully it shouldn't take me too long. Um, um, but I guess it's first. I'm, I'm just too nervous. I can't even get my words out. I'm so scared. What has she done to me? Uh, we better say good morning to our lovely family, of course. And here is Bert. Hey, Bert. How's it going, darling? He's like, I cannot stop today, Amy. I'm on an important mission to find the block of the day. I know, Bert. I know, darling. I know. You love your blocks more than life itself. What is the block of the day? Have you found one? <gasps> He says, I cannot rush these things, Amy. It takes me a long time to find the block of the day. He loves it. I'm not taking the Mickey. I promise. I, I love you, Bert. You're a good egg. Um, where do you think uh, lovely Bertha is? You think she could be downstairs? I hear googlies. I hear spiders. It's not the witch. As long as it's not the witch. But the spiders are the witch's spies. I can't rest anymore. Land of love is just turning into land of um, craziness and, and fear and, and stuff. Um, Bertha? Hey, Bertha! Hi! Bertha! It's me! It's Amy! Bertha! Hi! I'm right here! Bertha! Bertha! Darling, I... B Bertha? I, I'm here! Look down! There we go! Darling, your eyes are shining like juicy tomatoes this morning! I do love Bertha! She is wonderful! She is a cutie patootie as well! But anyway, let's go, of course, say good morning to the kitty cats and the doggies and give them their breakfast! Um, and of course, say good morning to the snow golems! And hello to my darling canines! How are you all doing this morning? It looks like I need a bigger bed, doesn't it? A lot of you guys in the comments are always saying, like, Amy, build a doghouse! Build an animal room! Build somewhere for the pets to live! And I love that idea, I do. But part of me is like, I, I really want to stay with them. I, I like having my bedroom filled with animals. But you know what? Waking up with like dog hair everywhere, that's not fun. I've got to admit, that is not the fun part. Good morning to my kitty cats. There we go, lovely Saturn and Comet. And don't worry, guys, I haven't forgotten. We are going to get some girly cats around here soon so we can have a big whole cat family. That will probably mean that is when I'll need a bigger a bigger room or a cat room or, or something. I don't even know. But good morning, my darling doggies. Look how cute they are. I just want to, like, get them and just be like, Mwah. I just want to kiss them. I love my doggies. Are you ready for your breakfast? Hi. Max, it looks like you're standing on Boomer's head. How are you? doing that it's like a circus we should do that one day that'll be really fun um anyway you guys ready would you like your breakfast how would you like fish are you sure no steak fish steak i'm kidding i'm sorry there we go max there we go boomer they're probably like amy not this again this is getting old now i know i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry there we go lovely lola and there we go little destiny down there we have luna up there luna did you get some a little chicka there you go it loves it there we go my darling little sailor we have lexi over there and we have lovely romeo and of course we have my hero mars mars you saved my life in the last episode i am forever in your favour. I love you, Mars. Thank you so much. You're a good boy. Yes, you are. Anyway, what doggy should we take with us on today's episode? Um, hmm. Look at all their faces. Obviously, the last episode we had Mars. I think we had Romeo before that, and we've had Max recently. We've had a lot of the boys. What about this? What do we take little lovely Lola today? We haven't had Lola. Let's go and take Lola. Come on, Lola. Let's go. Me and you, my little darling. We can do this. It'll be marvellous. Um, so yeah, let's go see the snow golems, make sure that mittens isn't causing too much mischief in that he's not at the door which frightens me oh i can just about see oh now he's coming hello mittens 
Hello darling, how are you today Mittens? Are you a good boy? Are you having good fun today? I do hope so. Can I can I squeeze by? Thank you darling. Hello Blizzard, how are you today sir? Hello Mr. Frost. Would you guys like some music on? Let's put some music on for you. What do we got here? We have, we have, what one is this? This is, this is Chuck. Can I put, Mittens? Mittens, if you want music, yeah, I need to, I need to, you to get off there. There we go. Ah. Oh, they're dancing! Oh, that's so super cute. Look how cute that is. Everyone loves a bit of music. Um, no, Mittens, please don't escape. You've got to be good, okay? I'll put music on. That means you can dance, okay? You guys can have a... All right, I'll dance with you. Now I can't resist a little boogie. Yay! Gotta love to dance. Dancing is beautiful. Um, but yeah, anyway, I've got to go. So, Mittens, be good, okay? No escaping, all right? All right be good. Mr. Frost Blizzard, keep an eye on him. Um, right, so Lola, let's go and see Grandfather Oak and of course go down to the cute red crib. Patch two. <gasps> witches. <gasps> Katniss, is there any witches anywhere? <laughs> is she here? <laughs> okay, no, we're, we're, we're safe for now. Oh, I'm sorry, Lola, there you go, darling. We're, we're safe for now. Um, there, there, there appears to be... No witches, which is good. Grandfather Oak, how are you today? Darling, guess what? You're looking spiffing. He is looking rather spiffing, isn't he? He's such an old chap. There you go, darling. Loves it. Right, let's go down to the cute recruit patch and see which cutie we have added this week. But uh, uh, I'm so nervous. Is she here? No, okay. We seem to be a, a little bit safe. Okay, that that's good. Okay, loves it. Anyway, here we are. Cute recruit patch. And the cutie we are adding this week is Nina Moore. Yay! We are adding Nina Moore because she sent me the very first fan art of last week's episode of Mars being a hero. You can see it on the screen right about now. How cute is that? It was so awesome. She said that like literally within like minutes of like the end of the episode. It was amazing. So thank you very much, Nina, and welcome to the cute recruit patch. I loved your picture. Mars loved your picture. And yeah, it's awesome. I love you, Matchley. Welcome to the cute recruits. Right, so. Mittens, I see you out there. What are you doing? You're not trying to like glitch out of the glass, are you? He's a crazy gooseberry. Anyway, so if you guys remember a lot, that was really squeaky, I apologize. If you guys remember a long time ago, I made a wishing well, and um, which you guys gave me like a comment to make. You were like, guys, make a wishing well, make a wishing well. So that's what I did. And down here is where I'm gonna put my new building. But first, Lola, let's put you in because I don't want you going down there because there's water and it could be rather dangerous. So why don't I just pop you in here with Peace Pig and Peace Chicken? Um, and they can look after you and keep you safe. And um, don't worry, I'm going to be fine, okay? And if anything happens, you can come and save me like Mars did. It's going to be fine. Hello, Peace Pig. How's your bacon today, darling? You're looking lovely. Um, I'm going to leave Lola here. Can you look after her and keep her nice and safe for me? Good boy, Peace Pig. Where's Peace Chicken? Is he around here? Hey, Peace Chicken. How are you doing? Have a flower. Loves it. Um, so, yeah. What I'm going to build today um, is, which you probably already know because of the title of this video, we're going to build a secret laboratory. It's a secret. Shh. Oh, I destroyed a flower. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, so yeah, I thought it would be really cool to build a secret lab um, so that we can make some really cool experiments and stuff. And maybe we could come up with like some, some cool potions to like maybe, maybe banish the witch for good and get her away from us or make me super strong so I can defeat her once and for all. Um, so down here in this wishing well is like some secret tunnels. And I thought that'd be an ideal place to put a secret lab. And I started it off camera. Um, I just got like the boring work kind of done and out the way. Um, so as you can see, I've got tunnels going this way there's nothing in these tunnels yet but we've got so much potential with things we can do under here and obviously it's all top secret <gasps> Shh, don't tell anybody kids okay it's secret <gasps> what if she's in here <gasps> witch lady <laughs> no okay we're safe right, i'm gonna be so nervous I, I i don't think i can sleep i need a therapist um so i've got a whole bunch of materials in here to get um our lab done and I thought of doing it in a nice light grey colour and then having some yellow and black wool going around um, to make it look really sciencey. Is that a word? Sciencey. It is now. Uh, so yeah, basically going to cover this whole room in light grey, like so. Um, this bit it might take a while, but it's, it's all fun. Building is fun work. Um, 
so yeah, it's going to be cool. So I was thinking of like some really cool like machines and things that we could put in here, and like maybe we could we can make like really crazy weapons and armor and potions and stuff like that. Um, the potentials are endless, darling. So maybe you guys can help me and put in the comments what you'd like me to make in the science lab, and the possibilities are totally endless. We could do anything that our imaginations allow us to do. Uh, gotta love the imagination, right? Uh, right, let's get rid of that one. And I hope I do have enough wool. You have no idea how long it took me to, like, shear the sheep. It takes me forever. Um, but I do that um, before every single episode. And, yeah, so that's, that's, that's really good. Uh, so if we go around like this, I'm going to leave this strip empty because that's where I'm going to put some, like, pattern designs, like black and yellow, like, just to make it look labby. Uh, I, I said sciencey before. I'm going to go with labby today. Is that even a word? It is now. Uh, I need some more... Do I have more grey wool? Uh, I do... Oh, I have two more stacks. That should be a perfect amount. So if we go around like this as well, and then obviously we want to go up here, um, and up here as well, and then around like this. Um, and obviously we can just leave the chests where they are for now. Uh, so right. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So at least it's not like a humongous room. Um, it's, it's a good size. It's a good size room. Uh, let's go around like this. There we go. Uh, yeah, so it shouldn't take too long. We should get this done. And then, yeah, we can start filling it with like really cool like contraptions and maybe machines and stuff. We just need to kind of think of some really cool experiments that we can do. <gasps> maybe we could find aliens or something. Oh, it's dark. Witches might spawn. Put some torches. There we go. Okay, panic over. <laughs> maybe we could come up with like an anti-witching potion or something. Like something like to keep the, the witches at bay. What do you guys think does that exist can we do that i hope so i'm gonna like search it maybe we could we could just like invent something like a anti-witch spray or anti-witch potion that we drink and then the witch can't come near us maybe it's like maybe we can make it with like lovely jubby love love petals because they're all lovely uh, and and witches they're not lovely um so maybe she's like repelled by like like cute stuff you know what i mean like i'm repelled by bad stuff so maybe she's repelled by cute stuff i don't know um, but yeah, I I think I need to talk to somebody about my, my phobia, um, because it's getting a little bit too much. Am I out? Did I use it all? Did I use all the light grey? I, I have five left. Seven. That's amazing. I love it. Uh, so let's just put this around here. There we go. Cool. Um, basically, yeah, I saw maybe like a black and yellow like border going all the way around. Like uh, if we start it, I want black there. There we go. And then black here, black there, black there. We can put like yellow here, um, and then that looks really, really cute. What do you guys think? Does that look awesome? I think it looks cool because like it looks sciencey. I've said it again, sciencey. Um, I'm getting distracted. Okay, <sighs> relax, Amy. She's not here. She's gone. Maybe, maybe that was her like escaping. You know what I mean? Like maybe that last episode was her final goodbye. Do you guys think she could be gone? Maybe, maybe, maybe. I hope so. I don't know how much longer I can carry this on with the fear. The fear is just getting too much, guys. Um, that's that's not right. What am I doing? I want that to be yellow. There we go. Loves it. Okay, and then put black around here. Awesome. Um, and then I always wonder, like, why there's no like friendly, like friendly mobs and friendly monsters and friendly googlies and stuff. And you know, maybe we could do that. Maybe we could make an experiment to make a friendly monster. That sounds like really good fun, actually. I think we could do that. Like, we can make, like, a couple of machines and maybe use, like, some special ingredients. And then, like, yeah. That's given me a really good idea. Wow. Okay, so, yeah, we could we could start that. Uh, do I have any iron? I could make... Oh, yeah, I do. That's awesome. Okay, so, what? yeah, uh, that's, that's the plan. I'm going to make, like, a machine that will make a friendly googly. Um, so, if we maybe make it, like, three wide... And then I could put like an iron door here. If we get up like this and go around like that, and yeah, this could be like a friendly, a friendly machine, a friendly machine. And then we could maybe do another one over here, and then like maybe it could transport. Okay, yeah, I've got ideas, guys. We're gonna make ourselves a friendly googly. Maybe we can make a friendly creeper. One that doesn't blow up. That'll be really fun. Or a friendly zombie. Um, or a friendly enderman. Or uh, I don't think I could do a friendly witch. Um, I, I could try, but I... I <laughs> oh, she scares me, guys. She really frightens me. Um, there we go. That looks cool. Okay. Um, 
Let's get rid of this floor and put like iron on the floor. We have literally enough iron. How cool is that? That was like meant to be. It was meant to be. Uh, there we go. So that's really cool. And then maybe if we put like a door and some buttons. I have buttons and there's a couple of doors here. Uh, oh, you know, I should have probably put a door um, at the front of this as well. So that it's like, it's it's top secret. There we go. No one can get in. Um, actually, I, I really struggle with getting in and out of those doors. Um, that, okay, that opens. That's good. <laughs> that's that's what we need to know. Uh, if we put like a door here or a button and a button here and then like a door. Actually, no, that's going to... Let's put a button at the back there just in case we get trapped in there because, you know, you know what it's like. I, I get trapped. Um, and then if we put another one there, get rid of this one, and put a button here and a button there and another door there. Okay, that's cool. Um, and actually, you know what, we should put like redstone torches up there. That'd be fun. Do I have any redstone torches? I have ten on me. Okay. Um, so we put that there and that there. Oh, you know what else might look quite cool? Like if we put like redstone torches like above this black thing. Um, like going all the way around, it could give it like a nice like sciency effect. I said it again, sciency, sciency. It loves it. Um, we're gonna probably need some like crafting tables and stuff here, so like furnaces and crafting tables. Um, I have a couple on me, but I think I have some more in the chest. Like, what if I put like one here, maybe like three or something? Uh, oh, I literally have the perfect amount. This is awesome. Uh, I can do this and like that, and then another one. Like a crafting table? Okay, cool. And it's giving me a little bit more of the grey wool as well. So I can like put a bit more at the back here. Okay, this is looking really cool, guys. I'm really, really liking it. Uh, let's just put some torches, lights, just to light it up a little bit. I need to eat, I believe. Let me have some potato. Nom, 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 and what if we put like the floor? We could do like maybe like a black outline going all the way around. I know I'm using a pickaxe, don't kill me. It's fine. Um, and then maybe in the middle we could have more like gray or something, but I'm gonna need to get some more sheep for that. Um, or maybe white, but then the white might clash with the iron, might not it? Um, we should have like a control panel as well. Oh, this is exciting guys! Science! This is gonna be really, really fun. We could have so much fun with this. We can make so many experiments and things. The possibilities are endless. I'm dying. <laughs> she can be down here. Get up, get up, get up. Ooh. Okay, I need to relax. She's not going to come back, is she, guys? Just tell me. Tell me. Tell me it's over. Please, tell me. Tell me she's not coming back. I, I just don't want her to be back, guys. I don't want her to come back. <laughs> she's in my nightmares. Um, okay, let's... I probably need some more redstone, actually. Uh, so let's put some black wool around here. And then around, not there, gooseberry, around like this. Oh, you know what else we should do? We should have some goo, like some 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 ooze or something. You know, like in science, like there's always some kind of ooze going on. Like, um, we should have like some ooze. Yeah, that, that's what I'm trying to say. So, some ooze. Uh, I could have like yellow ooze or something. Uh, do I have any more? Uh, I have some iron here. What if I made, um... Let's make some blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Uh, do I have any... Oh, criminy. Yellow or... Oh, green, green ooze. Let's have some green ooze. Um, like in this corner or something. So we could have like ooze. And it could be going up. And then we could put glass around it or something. You know what I mean? So it just looks like ooze. How many times am I going to say ooze? It's a fun episode. I'm saying lots of words. <laughs> words are my friends. Um, should we use panes? Would that work? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, it, it just looks sciencey. Okay. It's it's science. It's goo. It's ooze and goo. Uh, let's go around like, I don't know if I need that one there. Um, and then one here and then one here. And then maybe put some iron on top. Um, or it could go up and then it could lead to something else. You know what I mean? I like that idea. So if we go up here, right, and put another one here and then some more glass here. Can I just make this into panes myself? Oh, no, I need to have a crafting table. Let's just put one on the wall <laughs> just for the ease. Um, and let's get some more window pane thingamajigs. Okay, so let's put this like that. There we go. Okay, so... I'm hitting something with glass and the glass isn't breaking. That's marvellous, isn't it? 
So yeah, maybe that ooze could be something. Like maybe it's alien goo or something. That'd be really cool. Uh, we could come up with the use for that later. Um, but it's looking really cool in here. What do you guys think? Um, so I just need to kind of finish this. And uh, maybe, oh, what? What if we put, do I have any of like the dark gray? Like not the light, uh, yeah, like this. Um, and then I could have, <gasps> I'm getting ideas, children. We could have like it coming out here, right? And then it goes to the other one. And that's how, like, we put ingredients in this one, and then, like, the googly should appear in this one, you know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, it could travel through here. Like, if we put some redstone up there, then it could travel. And, yeah, I think this could be really good, guys. We could actually make a friendly googly. I think it could work. I think we can make it happen. Uh, so, if we just get rid of this bit now, because we clearly don't need this, we just need to build, like, a control panel or something. Um, just to put on the side so we can control it a little bit better. Um, but I'll need some more iron for that. I've only got three more blocks. Um, yeah, okay, this is looking awesome. So I just need to kind of finish it up a little bit. So I can do that out of episode. I'll do the floor and the ceiling and whatever and make it look really, really cool. Um, I might actually put iron. I don't like it going up to nowhere. I'm going to put a bit more iron at the top there. But anyway, loves it. We just run out of time for this episode. It's been super fun. Leave me some comments, guys, if you have any ideas on what kind of crazy cool experiments we can make down here. Put lots and lots and lots and lots of comments and maybe I can pick your idea and try it out. It'll be awesome. Thank you again to Nina for your awesome fan art of Mars the Super Dog. And thank you guys so very much for watching. If you didn't catch last week's episode, the link is in description. I love you guys. Bye.